All right, so here we are. Let's go check it out and see what they got going on. Ooh, big boxes. We love big boxes. See what? Here we go. <laughs> Looks like we got some rolling stock over here. Looks like we got some locomotives, some more rolling stock, line of cheap pluses, ooh, buildings. I'm gonna be looking into a bunch of those uh, simply because, well, my layout could use a couple uh, just to wrap things up. But yeah, I'll take you uh, a little bit more of a tour here in a second, but I'm gonna check some things out. All right, just to give you an idea, I'm back here and they've got a ton of samples. Um, 100 bucks here, um, as you can see, which is pretty cool to have the opportunity to grab some of these things right here. Uh, let's see if we've got one of them that's open. I think this one was open. Just to give you an idea, at Norfolk Southern GP38, first responder uh, locomotive, and a whole plethora of other ones. Uh, I've already seen something I would like to pick up, uh, just to add to the layout, my main goal today is to pick up some housing <laughs> or buildings if you will and here's uh, one of them uh, this will fill in a nice area uh, next to the engine shed so we'll definitely be grabbing this but what else I don't know so here we have more uh, buildings and accessories as you can see here uh, some from their you know um, their Halloween lines and from Christmas and as well as you know stuff like Scooby-Doo Hot Wheels but they also have things you know like um, the station platforms that are pretty uh, spot on if you're looking for things. We've got, I think, some Christmas houses over here. And then uh, what else do we got? Some rolling stock, some regular 027 rolling stock over here. I know they have some lion scale, but uh, yeah, overall, um, this table here is pretty good. Obviously, this isn't as big as, per se, the actual um, warehouse that they used to have. But here you go, you got terminal sections for fast track. Ooh, what do we got over there? We got some uh, line scale rolling stock. And as you can see right here, um, like I said, more rolling stock just for days, which is which is a good thing because, you know, if you're looking for something, the chances of you finding it are pretty good. Uh, some more right here. Um, here's some of your larger passenger cars. I think this is for the Acela. They are for the Acela, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, what do we got over here? Looks like we have some locomotives. Yeah, Union Pacific 2882. And their legacy forms right there. And yeah, it's just, uh, it's really cool. Um, you know, not as big as what I'm used to um, with the real warehouse sale, but this is pretty, pretty spot on uh, for if you're looking to grab something uh, that may not be uh, readily available. I'm very lucky to be able to be here um, in North Carolina and being able to really go ahead and um, see what's out there. but. We're gonna keep looking and see if there's anything else uh, you know I walk away with today. All right, so it looks like we did find another item. Uh, I've been looking for Long Island Railroad uh, M7s, and it looks like uh, we have that in here. It's, it says MTA Long Island Railroad Power Car. Just opened it up. Everything looks um, the way it should. It comes with a Lion Chief uh, remote and everything. So um, so far doing good. Uh, can't wait to actually get that one up on the layout. That's gonna be that's gonna be fun. All right, guys, we just wrapped up here got the items in which I've been looking for, especially the Long Island uh, MTA M7. And Dave over here. Hey. Hey, Dave. Thank you for all your help today. I appreciate oh, thank it. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. All righty. So come again. that's it. Let's calm down a bit and we're going to head home and bring it on to the layout. All righty. So here we are. We are back at the layout. And as you can see, I've taken out both of the items I picked up at the sale from the packaging. So that way we can just take a quick look at, you know, what we picked up. So the first thing we're gonna look at here is the Budweiser Bar and Grill. It's in the style of the Main Street buildings. That line I was put out for years. But as you can see, compared to the buildings that kind of been out for a while, uh, it's different in a number of ways. Uh, the first thing is, is the color. It's obviously this Budweiser color and it's uh, Budweiser red, if you will. And it just looks really, really sharp, right? Yeah, we'll just take a look there. Uh, and if you come here, you can see they have the black accents all the way around, whereas the older buildings, they kind of have the white accents. Um, let's see here. So we're going to go to the front. Um, what you can't see 100% is, is that um, compared to some of the older buildings, there's actually uh, clear windows and an interior. So we're going to take a look here. Let's see if we can 
get the light to look just right because underneath here is a insert. That insert uh, basically gives an interior. You can see right there, there's a pool table. Over there, there's a bar stool. So it gives it a sense of actual use and depth, which I think is, whoop, put that down. Really, really cool. Um, so I'm going to take this guy and he's going to basically live over in that corner next to the engine works because, you know, you figure after they've been working on the engines all day and working on the railroad, they need a place to unwind. But I absolutely love it. You can see here they got the Budweiser branding there. And it looks like some of those old school logos back in the day where they would go ahead and paint on the, you know, the logo on the side of a building before they went and, you know, everything being digital or some sort of vinyl. Moving over here, we have the Lionel Lion Chief M7 for the Long Island Railroad. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's only just the powered unit. Unfortunately, they didn't have uh, cars to go along with this, uh, which which kind of stinks because <laughs> you want to uh, you know pull a train as opposed to just you know having one. But it's something I've had my eyes on for a while. They're really hard to find, and what's cool about this is that this uh, is a sample. Uh, so it's kind of what came out before the official releases came out. So it's kind of what they were working with beforehand. But I think it's, um, you know, it looks really good, uh, even in quote unquote, a sample state. Uh, we have the, you know, the, the powered unit here. Uh, it did come with a Lion Chief remote, which is uh, always a positive. Let's see if we can get some looks here. It's got the branding, MTA, Long Island Railroad. It even has the American flags where it says we serve with pride. Um... Yeah, looks really, really good. Uh, fun feature here is underneath, uh, the doors actually open like that, and they close, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, obviously, those of us uh, with more of the legacy featured locomotives and stuff like that's automated, but, you know, for what they did with this, you know, <laughs> you can only get what you can get. A little shot for, from the back here. Uh, so it does have a full interior. I intend to go ahead and, you know, open that up and add, uh, you know, passengers up front. There is no driver. Let's just move you back a smidge. You know, but there is a seat for where the driver would go. So we'll go ahead and add a person there as well. Uh, and underneath here, I intend to kind of weather uh, stuff, use some rub and buff and Kind of give it more of a used look because it's obviously not just, you know, that black in real life. But a little project to start on here. Take a look up top. They did a decent job with the vents and everything that you'd see up top on one of these. I mean, even going so far as do not step little signs. Uh, I think that says walking area. So, yeah. Looks like the stuff I would ride back in the day when I lived in New York. <laughs> It says Penn Station. Uh, interesting thing about this particular run of this M7 is um, the call station isn't actually Penn Station. Uh, the station of call is Babylon, which is the branch of the Long Island Railroad that um, I used to take when I lived up there. So for me, it's pretty cool to hear the, this is the train to Babylon. And you'll hear it here shortly, because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go ahead and run this and try to get all of the sounds out of it. So bear with me as I, you know, run through them off of the remote. That's what I pretty much picked up at the sale. So that's what we have here. And what we'll do here is, is we'll just take a quick look at the newest scene. Because I haven't had a chance to show everybody this. This is a Southern Railway uh, hobo scene, if you will. I went ahead and I took a Lionel boxcar I've had sitting around for a while. It was completely blank. And I just weathered it. Let's get in there a little bit. I weathered it a bit. I added the logos for Southern Railway. And then uh, my temporary hobos, which are just some people from the uh, passenger uh, pack that I use to fill up my passenger cars. Yeah, I did everything from the little deck and little wooden stuff that they're sitting on little makeshift things that they made to the little fireplace. I'm so sorry, fire pit. <laughs> and yeah, so that's that scene for now. I plan on actually getting actual hobos. And then what I'll do is I'll take these folks and then I'll move them over to the camping scene because they look more like campers, right? They don't look necessarily like hobos. 
but yeah, so this is uh, where everything is for now. Um, I'll go ahead and get it set up. And in the meantime, I'll go ahead and run the M7. So that way we can get a look as to how it sounds, how it runs, and all that other fun stuff. This is a Babylon train. The next station is approaching. Welcome aboard LIRR train to Babylon. Please have your tickets out and ready to be checked. This is a Babylon train. Train to Babylon. 